I'm sure many of you have heard the theory that listening to fast music while driving prompts you to drive faster and take more risks. Well, I had the idea to see if this translates over to sim racing. Will you become a faster sim racer while listening to high tempo music? Carry on watching to find out. Research states that listening to any kind of music distracts a driver enough for their driving to become compromised. Us humans are weird. If we aren't looking directly at the thing we're listening to, it becomes hard to concentrate. The same thing is true for music. If we aren't looking at the speaker the sound is coming out of, our brains become confused. Even more so when we're tired. This article states that the participants' reaction times were slower when they were instructed to look away from the speaker. Additionally, navigating traffic is affected by the ability to listen somewhere else other than where you look. This is the reason you feel the need to turn down the radio while you're looking for a parking space. So, not only do we feel the need to drive faster, but our reaction times are greatly increased. This seems like the perfect thing to test in a simulator where there are no consequences for crashing. So, in this test I will set a pacemaking lap while driving in silence. Then I'll do the same lap listening to three different types of music. Firstly, I'll listen to some classical music which is about 50 beats per minute. Then, some metal which sits around 100 beats per minute. Then lastly is drum and bass which resides around 170 beats per minute. The research states that the effects of listening to music while driving are also greatly increased while the driver is tired. So, I waited until the day after a heavy night of lockdown drinking to do this. Fun. My prediction is that I'll find a good middle ground between tempo and erraticness of the music. Pause this video right now and let me know your predictions in the comments. No cheating. So with all that out of the way, let's get onto the laps. I'm not going to show you the pacemaking lap, but the lap time was a 54 seconds 0.013. Now by no means is this my ultimate lap time on this tracking car, but as I already said I was pretty hungover, so cut me some slack. So that is the time to beat. Let's get on to the classical music and see what happens. Alright, it's so the first lap, you can hear some Mozart blasting in the background. Of course, we are on Brands Hatch in the MX-5 Cup. I wanted to choose a smaller circuit to uh, decrease the risk of stupid mistakes uh, throwing off the results. So I went for Brands Hatch Indy. And as you can hear, this is some, some very chill music to drive to. Although I was actually finding it quite distracting already. As you can see I'm overdriving the car a lot. I was just turning the steering wheel a bit too much there. Which is a theme throughout uh, every single music run. So there definitely is a lack of concentration factor there. Again, turning the wheel way too much. As you see I had to uh, counter steer there on the exit which wasn't good. We lost some time there. And that is a lap. So Classical did a 54 seconds 0.775. Of course it was slower than Silence, but I did predict this as it's not very fast and it would serve as more of a distraction than a reason to drive faster. In my prediction I said metal music would make me drive the fastest and that is what is coming up next. Okay, so now for metal. Sorry about the windows bars at the top and the bottom, the recording kind of messed up as I had to tab out. And don't judge my music taste, this is some copyright free music. And as you can see there, I've just oversteered on the uh, paddock hill, so we lost some time there. Let's see if we can gain that back. That was quite a clean corner there, so it's all to play for still. Let's see, oh, you see, overdriving the car again there. The wheel was almost at 180 degrees, which is not good. The music is definitely playing a uh, role in that. Keeping it nice and steady through there. Let's see if we can nail this last corner for a good exit onto the straight. No, we lost it. So that was metal. Metal did a 54 seconds 0.978. Now I was not expecting this at all. It's slower than both classical and silence. This shows that either slow music or medium tempo music 
serves as more of a distraction than a reason to drive fast. I don't know about you, but when I think about driving fast with music on, I think boy races and drum and bass. So that's what's coming up next. Okay, so we're on to the final test now. Drum and bass is one of the fastest uh, styles of music at 170 beats per minute. So let's see if it will will us to drive faster. Paddock Hill was pretty clean, not over the drive in the car yet. Let's see on the hairpin how we do. Yep, looking clean so far. Let's see if we can get a good exit. Yeah, that's solid. Now this is a good corner to test. Again, the lap is looking fine so far. Hopefully it can beat the silent run. It all depends on these next two corners though. This is where you make or break the lap. Especially this last corner here. And, oh no, we lost the back end a little bit, which will actually cause us to uh, lose a lot of time as it leads directly to the straight. Let's see this time. And uh, no, that was slow as hell. And I'm kind of sick of this challenge now, so I just crashed the car. GG. So, drum and bass came in with a 55.236. And if you look at all the times, there's a nice correlation there. The correlation is the faster the music, the less concentration you have, which disproves the fact that you drive fast while listening to high tempo music, at least while you're racing. Maybe it's just a road driving thing where you don't really need to concentrate all that much and you can do it on autopilot. So that was my second ever experiment video. The first one should have come out a couple of weeks ago is about drifting versus grip on a toge. Go and check that one out if you haven't already. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave any ideas you have for them down in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.